All right. Happy New Year, everybody. We made it to 2026, and TickTick has come right out of the gate with some major updates. And I know if you use TickTick, uh, that's one of the reasons that you probably like using TickTick, is that they're always coming out with new updates, new features, new functionality, new enhancements on existing functionality. And that's one of the reasons that TickTick users generally like using TickTick, is that it's constantly being developed. And so in this case, they just released a brand new version. So it should be a big one. It's a major release. Uh, previously, we were on version seven and they've made incremental updates after we upgraded to version seven. But now we have a brand new version number and this is version 8.0. And so I'm expecting some big things. There should be a lot of new features and functionality since this is a major release and we're getting a brand new version number. So in this video, we're gonna check out what TickTick lists in their change log as what is included in version 8.0, what are the, what the new features and functionality. And then we'll take a look in TickTick to see if we can identify what that actually means. So let's jump into the change log. All right, so here we go. I'm in the change log and this was released January 4th, 2026. And it says new, Brand new version 8.0 with refreshed design and enhanced features. Cool. All right, so it says in the tasks, there is now a new feature called suggested tasks. And it goes on to say the new suggested tasks feature helps you review unfinished tasks and decide what to focus on today. And it tells us how to get there. So that's nice, so that's not always the case. So go to today and suggested tasks to browse suggestions and quickly add them to today. All right, so let's jump over to TickTick and see if we can't find the new suggested tasks feature. So it said to go to the today view and then go to suggested tasks. And I kind of looked at this ahead of time so I knew where it was, but it's up here. It's a new icon, which looks like a light bulb with some dots and maybe a star around it. And if you hover over it, it says suggested tasks and you can click on it and it gives us some suggested tasks to work on today. So it looks like right away, and this is my demo account, so this is not my, my main account. So some of this stuff may be a little old or outdated. It looks like most of my tasks were created over 100 days ago. And so that's what it's suggesting that I work on today is some long unfinished tasks. Uh, maybe I could pick out some of those to work on today. So let's say that that's the case. Maybe I want to research a good polish today. I'm assuming if I hit the checkbox that that would actually complete the task. So let's go ahead and hit the plus button. I think that would add that to today. And it looks like it did. So it says added to today down here and I can see it over here. And let's just test my theory that if I were to hit the checkbox that that completes it. Yep, and it marked it as task completed. What else is in here? I don't see anything else other than long unfinished, but there is a more option over here. So let's click that. And here I can see over 30 days. I wonder if I had some different things in here, um, what it would say. So let me just go back and exit out of the suggested tasks and just go add some dates to some different tasks. So let's say I want this to be tomorrow and I want this to be last Friday. And now let's add a few new tasks. New task one, new task two. And now if I go back to the today view and I hit my suggested tasks, do I see anything different? And the answer is yes, I do. So I see a different heading now called recently added. And so it tells me that these tasks were added today. And so those might be some tasks that I wanna work on today. So I could quickly add those to today by hitting the plus button. And I also see another heading down here called upcoming. So this one was a task that I added a due date of tomorrow on. So this is kind of cool that it looks through your tasks and kind of groups them in different ways that you don't normally see them, uh, like the upcoming, but especially the long unfinished, you know, so you've had tasks that you've added out here over a hundred days ago, but hey, how come you've never, um, how come you've never worked on them? Maybe you should do those today. Um, and then also we saw the recently added. so. It kind of groups them in different ways that you don't normally see. And I think that's pretty cool. That's a new feature and I think it's useful. All right, let's go back to the change log and check out what else there is. 
All right, so that's it for tasks. The next section is calendar. So there's a new yearly view and it says switch to the year view for a year at a glance overview. Enable the heat map in view options style to visualize your activity across the year. All right, so it looks like there may be kind of two things going on there. Let's go see if we can find the new yearly view first. All right, and over here in my demo account, I don't have my calendar turned on. So if you don't know where to turn that on at, you come up here to your little profile picture, go to settings. Uh, if you don't have the navigation down the left side, there's an icon up here in the upper left corner that you have to click and then it pops out. This is a feature of calendar and I just flip that switch to turn it on. And now I see tick tick refreshes and I see the tick tick calendar over here on the left navigation pane. So if I click on that, it looks like I'm in the week view by default here and I have different options. So day, week, month, and agenda, I think all existed before and they also had this multi-day and multi-week. Those were somewhat new though. They came out as an update of version seven, but the year view is what they're saying is new. So if I click on year, I can see the whole year at a glance. Um, I don't know that I can see my tasks because I know I have a task uh, that's scheduled for tomorrow. So if I click on the eighth, that takes me into the week view and I can see, yeah, the eighth, I have a task and I know that I also had a task, let's see, on the second, yeah. So if I go back to the year view again, it shows me a year calendar, but does it provide any other details? Oh, I was on 2025. But now that I'm down here on 2026, I'm in the right year, I still see the same thing, right? I don't see anything that stands out about uh, January 8th or January 2nd, where I know that I have tasks um, that are due those days. So what are my options over here? Uh, they look similar to all the others. So let's try and arrange tasks. And let's say that new task two, can I drag it and put it on a date? If it dragged it and put it somewhere, did it put it on February? It did, it put it on February 1st. Interesting, so does it always default to the first of the month? Let's go back to the year view. Let's grab another task, polish the silverware, and let's put it down here like March 30th, I'm trying to click on. I dropped it there. Now let's go see if it ended up on March 1st. It didn't end up on March 1st. It did end up on March 30th. So it does try to pick where you're dropping it. So that's kind of cool. So I can drag a task. I'm just gonna try it one more time because it's kind of interesting, right? And I'm gonna try for February 28th. And I hit February 28th. So that that did that is kind of useful, I think. If you're scheduling things out way in advance and you wanna look at the whole year in advance, um, the thing you have to be careful here is that these dates are pretty small, right? And so you saw the first time I tried it, I was actually trying to hit February 8th or 9th, and I don't remember exactly where my mouse was at, but it ended up on February 1st. So if you're not very careful, you can end up putting it on the wrong date. So you'll have to maybe double check that. And again, if you have a task that's due on a particular date, uh, there's no indicator here on the yearly view that that indicates that you have a task that's due that day. And that would be nice, in my opinion, if there was some sort of indicator that said, hey, there's a task due on uh, March 31st, right? Because, or March 30th, that's where we put that task at. Um, otherwise, if I'm just looking at the yearly view, it's, it's not that helpful, right? Unless I'm actually scheduling tasks way out into the future, then, then it might be useful. Okay, so let's jump back to the change log and see what else we got. Okay, so there was another thing as part of this new yearly view. It said, enable the heat map in view options style to visualize your activity across the year. So let's go, let's X out of the arranged tasks. Let's hit the three dots, go to view options, style. Ah, maybe this is what I was looking for, right? So I have the heat map on hide. And in order to see, it says show a heat map of all items by quantity in the yearly view. This is what I needed, right? So let me show the heat map. 
and X out of this and now I can clearly see. Okay, cool. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. So my suggestion, if you're gonna use the yearly view in the calendar, make sure you turn the heat map on because that will show you the indicator if you have tasks that are scheduled for that day or not. Okay, that one's cool, that makes sense. Let's go back to the change log. All right, new modern style. Again, this one is still under calendar. So it says a fresh streamlined calendar style that improves readability. You can switch styles in view options style. Okay, so we must have scrolled past that one. So I'm going back to the calendar, the three dots, view options, style. And so up here at the top is item style. Okay, choose a style for tasks and other items. When the task checkbox is enabled, you can quickly complete tasks by clicking the checkbox. That feature already existed, um, but the style, the item style is new. So we can choose between the classic and modern. And the difference looks to be the uh, transparency of the color, right? So I'm on classic and I see you know, a solid blue and a solid yellow. But over here on the modern, we see kind of a more transparent blue and a transparent yellow. So that makes it modern, I guess. Um, let me X out of this and go to my week view. And let's schedule polish the silverware. This is on April 30th, but I'm, I'm gonna schedule out the time block here. And then I'm going to go back to view options, style and switch to modern. And it just makes it a little more transparent. Okay, well, uh, more options is always good, I think. Uh, is it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this one is that important. I don't know that I care if my event is a solid gray or a more transparent gray. Um, what do you guys think on this one? Is this a good update or could they have skipped over this one and maybe given us something uh, more useful? Let me know in the comments. For now, let's go back to the change log and see that there's one more uh, enhancement here and it says enhanced color options. You can now set custom colors for habit and countdown for a cleaner, more personalized calendar. All right, so that sounds like we have to have either a habit or a countdown uh, set up and we see it on the calendar. So let's start by doing that over here. Again, I don't have uh, habits set up, so I'm just gonna go in to settings, features, and turn on habit tracker and exit out of this. Tick, tick refreshes again. Now I have habit tracker. So I did have one set up here for reading. Uh, let's just right click and hit edit to see what it says. So read daily, achieve it all. We started this back in November. This is a daily habit. Let's go see if it shows up in the calendar first. And it does, right? So I can see it and it's gray like all my other tasks. So it doesn't really stand out. And so what this was telling me is that I should be able to set a color for my habits. But I didn't see that in the view options, but let's go back in there. And here's the show habit. So if your habit doesn't happen to show up in the calendar, you probably need to turn it on here in the view options to show habits. Uh, let's go into color. All right, so up here at the top, I see tasks and my tasks are grouped in color on the calendar by list. So if I had tasks in different lists, I could set them as different colors on my calendar. I think right now all of my tasks are only in this tasks uh, list. So actually, instead of yellow, let me set this to like a, a different shade of red. So I have two different reds for my tasks and let's go over to habits and do a color by theme, fixed or habit. I don't really, I don't really know what, so I don't really know what theme means. Let me X out of this and see. So my habit is still gray. So I'm going back into view options, color, habit, and I'm gonna switch this to fixed. And I can change this to now orange. And now if I click out of this, okay, my habit is orange now. And going back into view options, color, What's the other one? Habit. So, oh, okay, if I had different habits, I could have them as different colors. 
So, you know, if I had a reed, reed could be yellow. If I had take a walk, that could be green. And if I had drink water, that could be blue. So that one makes sense. The fixed also makes sense. It just means that all of my habits are going to be the same color, but they could be different than the color that I have for my tasks. And so it kind of sets them apart. The one that just doesn't make any sense to me is theme um, because there's no option and it sets my habit to gray. So I'm just not sure about that. So if anyone can figure out what the uh, color by theme means in the habit colors, uh, let us know in the comments because I can't figure that one out. All right, so I'm gonna X out of that. I'm gonna jump back to the change log uh, just for one final glance at it. So I think we covered everything. Again, it was, this is brand new version 8.0, says refresh design and enhanced features. Uh, so there is a couple good features that came out of this. I think the suggested tasks and the yearly view, once we figured out that we need to turn on the heat map also, uh, the yearly view on the calendar, I think we're good uh, new features. Um, the modern style and the enhanced color options, I mean, the modern style I could certainly do without. The enhanced color options, I think it might be uh, nice to set different colors for your habits and your countdowns. I think that's that's good. But my question to maybe to all of you or to Tick Tick, does this group of features seem like a brand new version 8.0? Uh, and it even says a refreshed design, right? We were all hoping for, because some of us saw this, right? We were on the beta release and we saw some of the updates that Tick Tick put out on uh, the X app, uh, you know, the social media X app. And they were saying that it was gonna be a refreshed design and enhanced features. And we all saw the refreshed design. And I know a lot of people um, don't necessarily love the Tick Tick design, like the design of the overall app itself. And they wish it would have a more modern uh, design. And so when we saw the refreshed design, I think we all kind of crossed our fingers and we're hoping that, yeah, we were gonna get something kind of brand new, but I think the refreshed design part of it was just the new modern style on the calendar, which is just making the colors a little more transparent. And so I'm looking at this group of features and I'm just wondering, or this group of enhancements, and I'm just wondering if it's worthy of a brand new version 8.0. Because to me, a new version means big, a lot of updates, major updates, uh, changes to the way we do things possibly, changes to the way the, the app might work. Um, but I guess for TickTick, -tick, in TickTick's case, uh, a new version. You know, here's my real question, because TickTick -tick has come out, like I said, you know, when they came out with version 7.0 and then they made incremental changes along the way, some of the incremental changes along the way were just as big as what we see here for the version 8.0. So I'm wondering how they decide that this group of changes will be just an incremental change to version 7.0. And this group of changes will be uh, a brand new version 8.0. I don't know. I think when I saw the new version 8.0, I got a little excited and maybe I'm a little let down just by the group of features that was released. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching and have a good one.